Hey, you guys. So uh, it's actually super optimistic and awesome that you are watching this lecture right now because it actually means that you survived the last class, which is probably one of the more overwhelming um, sessions in the whole course. Um, I said one of the most overwhelming. You'll have to tell me if it uh, ends up being the most overwhelming. There are definitely some more overwhelming ones coming your way. But the fact that you're here watching this next video means that you survived the experience and that you still have some hope for the class and for your ability to master the content. And that is, um, that's really, really positive. I know that my opinion is that you absolutely can do this and you can master this content um, with enough time and focus and effort, but you are the one who ultimately has to uh, believe that. Okay, so today, we are taking all those tissues that we looked at last week or last time and that we hopefully you are going to realize today that I wasn't lying when I said those tissues, we're going to see them throughout the entire semester. And there will be a point at which you sort of shift into recognizing them. Today, we're going to take those tissues and we're going to build some structures. We're going to start out by building membranes. And the reason why I brought this um, hierarchical organization visual back to you for a third time, I'm bringing it back because I want you to be aware of where we are today in the organizational structure. Yesterday, we were here with tissues. And the fact is that today um, we are going to talk about our first organ system. We're going to talk about integument. And we're also going to talk about some structures that are sort of spanning between organs and um, tissues because we're going to put together some connective tissues and some epithelial tissues to make these membranes. By the time we get to the organ, um, the integument, that is um, skin is actually the biggest organ in the body. Uh, it also is perhaps one of the simpler organs in the body, uh, which is why we can kind of combine it with a membrane. But it's also considered a membrane. So let's look, let's start with listing out the four types of membranes that we're going to look at today. And I will see if, um, we can do this. I think, I actually can't remember. Come on, Wendy. I think we're going to do mucous membranes first. Oh, I know how. Mucous membranes. Right there. It is first. It's next. We're doing it next. Look. <laughs> were you all hollering at me that, dude, read your freaking outline. It's mucous membranes. All right. Mucous membranes. Epithelial tissue plus connective tissue gives us these mucous membranes. We also have serous membranes. Um, and serous membranes, mucous membranes we're going to see when we talk about the digestive system. So yes, serous membranes we get to revisit over and over again uh, in this entire course. So that, they're kind of an important one. And then we're going to look at um, cutaneous membranes which is, that's skin. There's another membrane called a synovial membrane, and the synovial membrane is found in synovial joints, which are highly movable joints like your shoulder and elbow, jaw. Um, we're going to talk about synovial joints in more detail when we talk about, we'll talk about synovial membranes when we talk about synovial joints. So let's get started with this um, mucous membrane because oh, anything with mucus in it, it's got to be cool. 